Timothy McVeigh is still alive, and by the time this airs out, uh, he'll be already dead. And basically, I'm just glad that uh, that he's been executed, and I'm just sad that they're not able to show it on nationwide TV because uh, that'll be something to show. Because fuck that motherfucker. Because the one thing that gets to me is that I can understand for being. Uh, number one, uh, for your causes, no matter what it is, let it be that you're into environmental causes or uh, death penalty rights or whatever you want to be into, abortion rights, I'm sorry. But basically the whole picture is that uh, he's such a horrible person for doing what he did. And basically he doesn't show any remorse. So the, what gets to me is that uh, if we can bypass the uh, cruel and unusual punishment uh, law, if we could get torture him for a little bit, because I, I will be gladly, gladly be the first in line to torture him for a little bit, because he had no right in taking away little babies who are, who are unfortunately in the building when it blew up. And I'm just sad that that uh, we're not able to see it on TV, because I heard lately that uh, his uh, life for the past six years has been solitary confinement, and basically all what he does every day is that. Uh, it was okay to be... Bounce a, bounce a racquetball back and forth in his uh, cell. And he said the moment that the building blew up, he knew he was already waiting to die. So he just been waiting. He said that it's six, seven years already too late. He's been dead all this time. So there you go. He just screwed everybody over by saying that because he got the final last word. And it just sucks because he did it on our own soil. And uh, I'm not going to even talk about that anymore. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, once again, I'm going to talk about a story that I talked about a while back. And uh, it, this concerns a uh, horror story in a cafeteria where this uh, student was eating a tomato and turkey sandwich. And when she bit into it, there was a thumb and a nail in her sandwich. <laughs> and she fucking, she ate the sandwich like halfway before she realized that there was a thumb and a nail in her sandwich. And there's some poor kid in some fucking public school, I guess, 
uh, cafeteria. <laughs> and imagine that you like mmm tomato and turkey with a little mayo and mustard on there. Mm. And like some crisp salad, uh, lettuce on there, and you fucking bite into a nail and a piece of a thumb, and that just goes to show that you can't trust uh, public food, uh, you can't trust public education food because basically I know they're all hardworking people, but that's the way it goes because there's so many kids who are already cramped in the classroom. So think about feeding them all. So that's a big task at hand. And it gets sad that some poor girl had to eat a thumb and nail sandwich instead of a uh, turkey and tomato sandwich. <laughs> okay, in Australia, a, a man, uh, an owner of a dog was walking the dog along the lake in Australia one day, a couple days back. And apparently when he turned his head to the right side for a split second, he noticed a ripple in the water when all of a sudden that the dog was just gone in one swipe and apparently the crocodile was able to sna snap the dog away from the leash in a matter of a second and before the owner knew it the dog was already gone and the bottom was a cool pop on the bottom of the lake was the croc already ate him alive so that gets go to show they say Australia government said that and symptoms since the 70s I'm sorry since the 70s 20 people have been eaten alive by the crocodile, and that gets a horrible, 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 horrible way to go. Because as I recall, I used to know someone several years ago who said that uh, he wanted us to go push him off a cliff into, in, into a angry pit of alligator. And if that guy is still up to it, I gladly do that. I'll push him into the big old uh, better water of uh, crocodiles. But that what they say happened in Australia a couple days ago. And I guess I was talking about that because, like you, like I said uh, earlier, the survivor was on, and I, the winner was the woman who, her name was Tina, I guess. Okay, okay. And then on a sad, sad note, for people who do what we do, basically the media, I guess we're the media types also. But as of uh, this month, 21 journalists around the world have been murdered. And that is very sad because basically they're doing what we're doing. It is uh, the thought of entertaining and in, and increasing your knowledge of the free world as we know it. And unfortunately, these people got murdered all because they just wanted to bring you the news. So uh, that's very sad. And I, I have respect for all the people who went out in the field, out in other countries, trying to report the news, who got murdered. And that's the ultimate price. And God bless them all. Alrighty, alrighty. And then also, uh, I'm in an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Uh, they all have the first genetically altered baby. But the only problem is that they messed the DNA up by having the DNA of two mothers and a father. So they fucked up the human evolution already. The race is on to excellent. <laughs> alrighty. And one thing first I want to talk about too is I've been seeing a lot of TV lately and I noticed that there's a lot, a lot of pills, uh, prescription pill commercials. And think about it, next time you think about Paxel or uh, whatever, Claritin or whatever pill that they're advertising on TV, listen to side effects. They always talk about dry mouth, abdominal pain. They talk about uh, bleeding bleeding intestinal problem, liver problem. And basically what it means that you can, like like someone pointed out earlier, someone can go to a doctor. I just saw a commercial for Paxel without help me out. What does homeboy know about Paxel that he needs to get it? And I know y'all, you people out there in TV La La Land have it. And I know people who take in Paxel too, and Prozac and the whole work. But unfortunately, like I said, Earlier, earlier, uh, they showed a lot on TV and people want to take it. And it's a billion dollar industry now. So basically, people would rather pay for side effects than go for natural high, say like, for instance, ginseng. Okay, people, that's it. And uh, I guess that's it for the Comic Crazy Show. I'll be back in a little bit. I do want to apologize for the show earlier. Episode 43 was uh, screwed up. Unfortunately, also, I say that word a lot, but uh, T Triple C messed up 
on uh, showing the, the show. Sorry about that. And uh, I'll be showing Labyrinth. Marty. Labyrinth. Alrighty, people. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hasta la vista, people. Uh, I'll say again next time. Uh, there'll be a reason for why I'm doing this. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, 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 alright.